I turned 31. Yeah, we're into our dirty 30s, or whatever they call it. And to celebrate, I wanted only one thing, and that was to spend quality time with mom and dad and to have an epic American road trip. So mom and dad booked their flights from Canada, and I picked them up in LA. We had a night in Malibu, a wildly good dinner at Maestro's, and then we headed to Joshua Tree. There it is. Welcome home. Hey. And there it is, Dad, the Joshua. Oh, wow, they got jazz music playing. Look at the pool back there. Right? Oh, look at the flooring. Pretty nice, hey? I could just hear my mom wooing and hawing every room she walks into. So the sun's setting here, so this is gonna light up. So I'm, I gotta get my camera going. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to start a vlog? No, I just took it in. Man. Yeah, take it in. Day one was a huge success, and to start day two, I went to the airport to pick up one of my good friends and now business partners. Meet Alex. And unfortunately, Alex brought a gift. I wish he didn't. One of the things that actually inspired the villa I'm building in Bali right now is this place. Not this actual house, but the Wander Experience. When you check into a Wander property, there's certain things you can come to expect. You know it's gonna be a smart home. You know it's gonna have speakers that go across the entire home. In this case, we even have the ping pong. It's on. Boom. Ooh. Ruby's warming it up. We're ready. We're gonna, Ooh, thank you. <laughs> we're gonna do the sauna, then we're gonna go to the, the cold plunge, and then we're gonna go to the hot tub, and then we're gonna go back to the sauna, and then maybe play some ping pong, and then maybe a workout. But that's what's at the agenda for today. So. The sun was high in the sky and there was nothing but desert surrounding us. It was truly a moment of disconnection from all the pressures of life. Let me show you what Ruby got me for my birthday, which was literally two days ago now. Boom, check it out. This is literally one of the best gifts I've ever been given. Isn't it cute? I like Kevin's face, <laughs> Coda. So good, Gracias. It was actually originally supposed to say Ohana, but La Blanc is perfect. <laughs> What? What is that? I love it. <laughs> there are no answers. Why do you look like me? Yeah, nice job to the head chef. When you get older, in my case, 31, it's when you start to realize the finest things in life are a home cooked meal and the people you share it with. So today is off to a really, really good start. We have been crushing in the productivity stations. I'm over there at the massive monitor, getting some work done, catching up with team. Mom and dad went to take out the car to go and explore Joshua Tree. And uh, Ruby's doing what she does best, taking a good two hour shower. Alex and I also went through a little taste testing this morning with our upcoming product. Someday you'll know what this is, but I think we found our winner. Nothing beats staying in a nice property, but we came here to experience Joshua Tree, not to just stay at home. My parents went into town to meet an old friend, and the rest of us went out to explore the desert. And we made it. Welcome to Joshua Tree. This is somewhere I came as a little kid. Honestly, it's been so long, I barely remember it. We had like an RV family trip, and this is actually way prettier than I expected. You can see the way these rock faces are basically not just one giant solid stone, they're actually made up of hundreds and thousands of little tiny stone pieces. What's your take? Let's go. Beautiful. Yeah? So beautiful. Worth the flight out from Houston? I'm about to cry. So you're probably wondering, why is this place called Joshua Tree? Let me show you. It's because of this. It's the Joshua Tree. But why is this called the Joshua Tree? To answer this, we have an expert with us. Hi, I'm Joshua. It's named after me. Hello! Hello! I can just picture the whole thing rolling down. Banana! Hello guys, uh, as you may know me, I am Al Gaib, and today I'm giving you a survival guide in Joshua Tree. And today we're gonna work on our footwork. 
I'd say everybody's pretty happy. Transplanted in the middle of Joshua Tree, an amazing landscape, but yet having all the conveniences of home. Super fast internet, a powerful workstation, a smart home that I can literally control with this iPad right here. I mean, we have speakers all across the home, so everywhere we go, we got Frank Sinatra playing. But I have to say, Wander, is one of my favorite brands. I worked with them about three years ago when they invited me down to Oregon to experience their properties. And the moment I saw that, I was like, this is game changing. But there was only maybe 10 homes, maybe 15 max. Today, they have probably quadrupled the size of their portfolio. They have homes across many of the states across the US today. One of the worst things about Airbnbs is that you've got the kitchen space to cook, but you don't have the supplies to cook. The cool thing is with Wander, they actually make sure that you've got all the cooking ingredients you need. You've got a little welcome kit with some drinks, some snacks, and you've got all these premium pots and pans and everything you could need to make a good meal. Maybe my personal favorite. So by opening up the Wander app, you start to see how this isn't just a high-end homestay. This is a tech company. So you can scroll through all their locations, but by going to trips, I can actually see the property I'm staying in and check this. Hey, it's a little dark in here. Let me see what I can do about that. Press the button and three seconds later, the light is on. I can open and close the blinds in the room. I can turn on the fire pit outside. I can open the garage door, taking me into our dedicated gym space. And if I need anything else that's not in the house man, Manual or I just want that friendly touch, you can press concierge and you're immediately talking to one of their team members. And with three rooms, a place like this can be cut from $650 a night to just over $200 per couple. To celebrate being 31 and like a day, we took in this beautiful sunset and some amazing wine. 31, an absolutely incredible birthday. You see, Every time I get to see mom and dad, it is a special moment these days. I think that when I was growing up, I had so much time with them, I took it for granted. And then I moved on to the other side of the world and having time side by side became a lot more scarce. It became a lot more evident just how fortunate I've been to have these two people to call my guardians, my mentors, and my parents. And this has been a beautiful chance to do a whole lot of nothing in a beautiful place. We've been watching movies, cooking meals. I was able to bring a good friend with us and for them to get to know Ruby better. The whole thing has been a 10 out of 10 experience. I can't say it enough. I mean, there will be a time in our lives where we regret not having spent time in certain places. For me, I can see where so much of my life has led me exactly to where I want to be. But one thing I'm trying to fix right now is just how much time I have left with mom and dad. I'm enjoying these final moments here because in the morning, I won't see my mom and dad for probably a few more months. These are the ups and downs of being a digital nomad, but it's also what makes these moments so, so precious. Getting some shots of the grill master. You uh, flew in your own personal chefs. Yeah. That's how it works. <laughs> Family yeah. business. A worthwhile endeavor. Not many people will say it, but the United States is a beautiful country and it makes for amazing road trips. Our next few hours were spent on highways and winding roads, but they led us to our next beautiful destination. I had to pull over. This is insane. We are now in San Diego, just outside of it at least, in the Palomar Mountains, and already such a stunning start. But we're not there yet. We're taking you somewhere super incredible. We've been driving for about six hours today, and we got an incredible sunset. 30 more minutes to go. It's snowing. What the hell? What is going on? It's literally snowing. <gasps> Whoa, I've never seen this. What is going on? What the heck? This is literal snow. We just got snowed on in San Diego. We went from the most beautiful, colorful sunset to a giant cloud coming in, engulfing us. And uh, yeah, what a cool ride up. We're up in the mountains. It's definitely cold. Ooh. I've never in my life, in my history of living in Southern California, ever seen snow. This is crazy. You've never seen snow? Like, not here. No, there's not supposed to be any snow. We're just in the hills of San Diego. This is crazy. 
crazy. So we've just checked in. I'm gonna give you guys a proper tour tomorrow because it's a really special property and you won't get a real feel for where we are right now until the sun comes back up and the hail stops. So yeah, we got a few friends joining us tonight, tomorrow. We'll introduce you to everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. When I thought about doing a California road trip, I think the last thing that came to my mind was seeing snow. So last night coming in, we were hit with sideways rain that turned to hail, hail turned to snowflakes, and this morning we woke up in a little bit of a winter wonderland. And I wanna remind you, we are just outside of San Diego, which is just absurd to me. I think this is like the perfect contrast after having done a few days in Joshua Tree and the cool thing is, we're actually in another Wander property. The moment we checked in, we used the smart locks, opened up that door, connected right to the Sonos speakers across the house, and it was as if we took our Joshua Tree property and just transplanted it in a new landscape. But the benefit is, you have a whole new landscape, a whole new set of views, and a whole new beautiful architectural dream home. And late last night, a few of our friends arrived, so I'll introduce you to them when everyone starts their day. We had a bit of a movie last night. Look at this living room. It is literally like something you'd see in Architectural Digest. This massive sprawling space, kind of has a little bit of these industrial touches, but with a very lovely, inviting, modern finish. I was telling everybody that the second that I woke up and we put the blinds up, or I did, my jaw went because <gasps> I couldn't believe the view. We had such a hard time coming up last now, and now, now I know why. Yeah, this is to die for. Road trip, hey! Woo! Where are we going right now, guys? The Yellow Deli. We're joining a cult. <laughs> Lena, what, what is this place? It's a sandwich shop, but it's mostly a cult. This is the day I met Ruby about three and a half years ago. She was telling me about this place that is near San Diego that I had to someday try. And she's like, it's the best food in the world. Everything's made by hand. Everything is like organic and fresh, fresh ingredients from their farm. But the drawback is you might never be the same. We'll find out. So here we are, we made it to the Yellow Deli. Wait, so what makes it a cult? Okay, we'll talk, yeah, we'll talk about it later. For now, we'll talk about the menu. They're famous for something called the green drink. We don't really know. It's more than just this, but it's really good. It's a little chilly, so we're migrating inside, but you gotta see this. It's got this kind of like grandma, grandpa's farm kind of feel to it. Super antique and, I mean, it's just so much personality to this room here. The decor. The fireplace, and it's nice and warm. Little dainty curtains here. It's like your grandma's house yeah. out in the country. In the ranch. I love it. The search for body continues, what the heck? Oh, it's there. So this is uh, the 12 tribes. They call themselves the Commonwealth of Israel. Um, and they have communes all over the world. Spain, France, Argentina, Brazil, Australia. It says, come on Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. So they have like an open Q&A to learn more about what they believe. Genuinely very curious. I'm just, uh, I love the Yellow Deli food. So I just come here for the sandwiches and, and the yerba mate and the green juice and the green bars. Why are you speaking and the country? Rolls, Cause I'm in the country right now, that's why. <laughs> okay, what am, I, what am I about to try? You're about to try their green juice, made literally right over there. It's got lemon, ginger, and green with yerba mate. Okay. So good. Wow. I know. That's so good. We're full. That's a <laughs> Yeah. A meal so good, we'll never see Ruby again. She's joined them. <laughs> and that's okay. She's where she's meant to be. Leaving the yellow deli with a big belly. I write my own scripts. I low-key think Ruby's been undercover with the Yellow Deli since the day I met her. <laughs> Full circle moment. This was an epic American road trip with a couple epic homes and many epic moments with friends and family. I am so grateful for 31, but most of all, grateful for what's to come. Let's get lost again in the next one.